Welcome to our weekly market review and after months of holding up, the cracks have emerged in the U.S. labor market. Last week's employment report showed a sharp increase in unemployment in August as the labor supply and demand dynamics are gradually coming into better balance. It's all adding to the disinflationary pressures. Now, last week's manufacturing data also reflected the weaker demand in the economy. And while the services index rose slightly attributable to a strong demand through the American summer, the outlook remains weak as excess savings for the poor half of the U.S. population are nearly depleted. Now, this week's inflation data for August out on Wednesday and retail sales released the following day will all provide for the context and it will be significant for the Fed's September policy update happening next week and whether there's one more rate hike in the bag or if it's time to pause. Some relief that the end-of-month data was not worse has helped the RAND stage a mild recovery against the US dollar end of last week, with the bullish momentum continuing at the start of the week. Notwithstanding its better performance in recent sessions, the ZAR still lacks significant resilience, and that's largely due to South Africa's weak fiscal profile. Technically, it is now showing signs of recovering against the US dollar, but the ultimate direction for the week will probably be decided from a combination of Monday's local inflation expectations data, as well as the US inflation print out later this week. Now, manufacturing data will also be out on Monday, with July's mining stats out on Thursday, where we expect to see an improvement in the figures. However, the po this positive growth is more a function of comparison against a weak year ago base more than a meaningful improvement in production levels. Likely to be this week's biggest market move is the ECB's policy update happening on Thursday with the market currently split on whether it will bump rates up further or hit the pause button. The committee will be weighing high inflation against the widening cracks in the EU economy as growth in the bloc remains muted. And on top of this, it's also dealing with the geopolitical fallout. With this backdrop, it's, it's likely that the ECB will effectively signal a peak in rates and if not explicitly, then through its actions. Finally, a quick overview of Chinese data continues to reflect a weak economic environment. Despite a slight uptick in both CPI and PPI in August, inflationary impulses remain weak, with demand too weak to allow retail businesses to raise prices, while producer prices continue to decline and put pressure on manufacturing profits. Now, last week's trade data showed a decline in both import and exports in August, but the import data suggests demand may be bottoming out with some improvement, which can be expected. All in all, the Chinese economy remains under pressure and further stimulus will be needed to support a rebound. That's then the week that was and the one to come for the markets.